So let's have an honest conversation about Shiba Inu. Woof, woof. So it's hard to ignore any type of investment that has made a return of over 42,000% in the last one year. If we put that into perspective, if you put $100 into this investment about a year ago, well, let's just say you'd be a very rich person right now. Now, as a proclaimed crypto YouTuber, I've learned to take and recognize some of the L's that I faced within the game. I can't get everything right, and one of those things was definitely my opinions on Shiba Inu. For the past few months, I've definitely been what you would call a hater against this asset class because for me personally, I'm still a very strong believer in investing into fundamentally strong cryptocurrencies with real backing and utility. Now, if we do a quick reflection of what this past year has looked like, I mean, including the pandemic, it has just been an absolute roller coaster. But even within traditional investment markets, we have never expected to see the reign of Wall Street bets going absolute mainstream. I personally never would have expected to to see other stocks like AMC, GME, or other targeted Wall Street bets have some of the surge in prices we experience, or even seeing the reign of Dogecoin. If you guys remember during the summer before the SNL live show and just how much attention that was getting. There was even a day where when I was not recording a video, I went out to my local Target and I heard the employee talking to another employee about Dogecoin and how much money that they could make. And I just realized how mainstream a lot of investments, how mainstream crypto, how mainstream even individual meme tokens really went. Now, when it comes to Shiba Inu, there is a few reasons why I personally believe that this crypto is exploding. And towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly what I think is gonna happen next, if there still is a future with Shiba and whether or not it's actually too late to invest into this crypto here. I really never thought I'd be making a video on this uh, and I probably won't be doing it too often. So if you guys do appreciate at least my thoughts because y'all have been bombarding me with emails and DMs DMs asking me what I now think about Shiba. I'm going to be spilling all of the beans in this video. So go ahead, do me a favor, drop a like down below. Thank you all for tuning by another video. Watch out for scammers. They're in the YouTube comment section. They're on Instagram. There's scammers everywhere. Just watch out for them. So first of all, the global crypto market cap is sitting at a whopping $2.61 trillion or a 3.25% increase over the last day. A lot of volatility and movement has been happening in the market. A lot of people were expecting for Bitcoin to retrace and fall down to at least the near $53,000 levels. Quickly, the sentiment on that changed. You'll notice right here that a popular crypto account said there was an alert for a possibility of a short position opening up at $60,000. There were a lot of hate going on in here, and you'll notice that quickly, short after that, literally, figuratively, yeah, they decided to go long about eight hours after that, and you can just imagine some of the comments pretty much ripping this type of account. Now, you got to realize the climate of the current crypto market that we're living in, things are bound to change, and it's really hard to determine exactly what may happen next in the situation that we're at. What we can learn from this example of a tweet is that there's going to be a lot of classic confusion going on in the market with many people indicating that they know exactly what move is going to happen next, but they really can't get it right. So far in the market, we're actually seeing a good amount of great green all around the board, Solana up 34%, Ethereum up 11%, sitting at above $4,100, closing past its all-time high weekly candle. Uh, and then on top of that, we're actually seeing a lot of additional altcoins that we began to mention on our channel. Terra Luna still up 18%, Chainlink still up 26%. And what we've been talking about more of on this channel is really the flood of money going into a lot of these alternative assets in the crypto market, which are called altcoins. So if you guys remember what I said, money will naturally flow first into Bitcoin. And then we can get an indication of how much money Bitcoin is dominating the entire global crypto market cap by, by looking at the Bitcoin dominance, which is currently still decreasing, giving us an indication that all coins are going to see that flood. So I personally believe we are still not in the prime of the all coin season yet. When we are, we may see a lot of new all time highs getting broken. At the moment, a lot of that money that did go into Bitcoin may start to go into other all coins as we continue to 
progress throughout this fourth quarter. And in the last seven days, the big winners are going to be Thorchain Rune, Secret again, Nexo Curve, and some of my personal favorite cryptos that I've been rooting for, Harmony One up 54%, Solana, like we said, up 34% in the week, The Graph up 33% in the week, Chainlink, Elron, Avalanche, and a few more. So the Crypto Fear and Greed Index is still showing us more in the green right now of the greedier side of the market, but it definitely is much less than what we saw just last week with pushing extreme greed of numbers of 78 on the historical value. It's still just crazy to me how fast things changed because last month we were in a completely fearful market before we start to have this rampage. We were seeing that pullback in the market and really a cool down period before things start to really pick back up just in the beginning of October. Now, that being said, a lot of major news headlines have also been coming out too, but I really want to narrow down just on Shiba Inu in this episode to give you guys my opinion on what may happen next. So first of all, Shiba Inu just yesterday actually went ahead and made a tweet and they said, hey, Elon Musk, how much Shiba are you holding? Well, they said you are holding a little typo there, a hundred diamond hands. And uh, Elon Musk went ahead and tweeted back out and said none. Uh, shortly after that, we did begin to see a price in Shiba Inu going down, but it looks like since then, we did see a little bit of a recovery. And if we go to the last seven days, yeah, there was a bit of a pullback, but it is pretty good right now. And it looks like a lot of that was swept up fairly quickly. Now, before we talk about whether or not I believe Shiba Inu is still a viable investment, I want to talk more about the fundamental reasons why a crypto like this is still hyped up and why it's still moving north. So for any asset to even be up 460% in the last month, you know that people are going to make money. And really what I've been noticing, at least within my friend group or anytime I go out to eat, people are talking about Shiba Inu. People are still doing what we experienced last year with Dogecoin, hearing about an asset, hearing about their friends making money in the market, and then also thinking, hey, why don't I make some money too? It's only 0.00004 cents right now. It's such a cheap crypto and I could probably own thousands of Shiba Inu without having to pay the amount of money that other cryptocurrencies are worth. For example, Bitcoin, what? Above $60,000. For anyone who doesn't really understand supply, market cap, how much of a token is actually floating around for people to buy, they're not really going to understand the fair market value of what some of these tokens really are. So we're talking about the price we see. That is going to introduce to a lot of new beginners and get them to think, wow, this is a cheaper token when essentially that's not the case. But people are going to look at the price of this, think it's cheaper, think they're getting a better deal and think there's still additional upside. And most importantly, when we compare Shiba Inu to something like we experienced in the previous summer of Dogecoin hitting a dollar, people love psychological round numbers. And just the fact that Shiba Inu still has about four zeros at the current moment. A lot of people want to speculate a one cent Shiba Inu is very possible because maybe Dogecoin was very close to hitting one dollars just a few months back. So circling it all back together, the reason why I personally believe Shiba Inu is on the up is because one, they do have a strong community. I can't ignore the amount of Shiba Inu content creators that I'm seeing now, whether it's on TikTok, YouTube, or even any other verticals on the social media space. It looks like for many new investors, it's easy for them to rally behind a cult-like group where it's easy for them to feel accepted and to just be a part of another community. Shiba Inu really allows that because as soon as you're able to buy even just one piece of that investment, it's going to give the feeling that you really are part of a collective system. Aside from the psychological reasons behind Shiba Inu, we really have to be cognizant about a lot of the hype that really drives and fuels and has some really strong potential to make other assets assets go insane. One of my biggest learning lessons from this past year is that you cannot underestimate the power of the people. When many new investors hear about this asset and hear about other people making money and see some of the potential that we've experienced in this past year and the future potential of what's to come, there really isn't a reason for them not to invest, especially with the accessibility of being able to invest in Shiba through major platforms that are popular in the US, just like Coinbase. If we take a look at what's happened within the last one year, you'll notice that Shiba Inu had its spectacular ride up, but it's been rather flat until just the recent bull market started its resumption. Now, what you also notice that this really started to take place on the 1st of October as well, and Shiba Inu was available on Coinbase September 16th, just a few weeks prior to that. 
going back to my point, because Coinbase allowed Shiba Inu to be bought on their platform, I do believe the constant reminders and being able to get new investors on board really allowed them to gateway and funnel themselves into this investment right here. Just a reminder, if we even go into Shiba Inu's Wolf paper, you'll notice that a lot of this still wasn't developed as a serious project. But, you know, a lot of crazy things happened this past year. You just never know what's going to happen in the market. And I never thought I would be saying this, but maybe we do have to take meme tokens a bit more seriously in this day of age. According to Coinbase, the trading activity is still indicating that a lot of people, 82%, in fact, are actually still buying this cryptocurrency. And we're still seeing the popularity of this completely growing. Coinbase also indicates that medium time that their customers are holding Shiba is about 16 days. So it's a rather short amount of time. Many people may just be getting into it. If they make a little bit of profit, they're leaving. But from at least what I'm seeing around the interwebs, I do believe that people are holding on to this investment and waiting for a long term hold just in case they do see another pump in the market. In my opinion, as crazy as it is, Shiba Inu could be considered a long term hold only because it is one of those perfect tokens where a celebrity could come in and push the crap out of it. Now, at the same time, you do have to be realistic about the current market cap and how Shiba Inu could probably never hit a penny. So when people are saying Shiba Inu to a dollar, you got to realize that literally it cannot happen because of the size of the market that we live in now. So to make this easier to understand, you got to realize gold as an example has the largest market cap of $11 trillion. One of the worst performing assets within this past year. We then have Apple at $2.45 trillion, Microsoft $2.31 trillion. Scrolling down, Bitcoin is finally here at $1.18 trillion. Now, you know, you have a lot of companies listed on here. Ethereum's in the number 17 below JP Morgan Chase at $496 billion. Shiba Inu, in terms of the crypto rankings, is still number 12. But what's really interesting about this is that Dogecoin is still ahead of it, even though it's been rather stagnant in price. Now, if you guys remember Shiba Inu's intent or purpose of being created, they wanted to destroy Doge, be the Doge killer. And I do actually see the possibility of that happening in this current bull market, if we continue to make momentum strides, Bitcoin goes to 75 to even 100,000 plus dollars by the end of this year. I certainly think because Shiba has a lot of that momentum behind it and Dogecoin really hasn't gotten too much hype at all and it, it really just has been relatively flat in the market, we could see the possibility of that happening and seeing another winning buying opportunity as well within that asset. So when it comes to that question of can Shiba Inu ever reach one penny? Can they ever reach a dollar or $50? The simple answer is flat out no. Now, this article here does a better job than I could ever explain it. And I wanted to read it off here where they state the coin's maximum token supply currently sitting at one quadrillion tokens implies that Shiba Inu would need to amass a one quadrillion dollar market cap if the tokens were to reach a dollar. This is more than the 20x, the national GDP for the US in 2020 and 500x the current market capitalization of the entire crypto industry. At the current price, Shiba Inu would need to grow its value by 10 million percent to reach $1. This translates to consistent growth of more than 714,000 percent for the next 14 months if it hopes to reach parity with the dollar of the end of 2022 or 200,000 percent per month for the next four years if it expects to reach a dollar by December 2025. So for any new investors who have gotten sucked into investing into Shiba because they're appealed by the cheaper price. Think about it like this in relative to the stock market. Uh, when you see the price of certain companies, say as an example, Apple, you'll notice that their shares are a lot cheaper than compared to maybe Amazon or even where Tesla is sitting at right now. Now, Apple says it's at $148. Its market cap is about $2.47 trillion. And if we look at Amazon, 
It's $3,000 with a market cap less than that of $1.73 trillion. So when you take a look at some of even stocks as an example, the reason why the prices of these are not relative or you're not seeing the fair actual prices because they have incorporated things like stock splits before in the past. Now, similar to the crypto market, the reason why companies will go out and carry a stock split is because the reason is psychological. As the price of a stock gets higher and higher, some in investors may feel the price is too high for them to buy, while small investors may feel it is more unaffordable. Splitting the stock brings a share price down to a more attractive level, while the actual value of the stock doesn't change one bit. The lower stock price may affect the way the stock is perceived, enticing new investors. Splitting the stock also gives existing shareholders a feeling that they suddenly have more shares than they did before, and of course, if the prices rise, they have more stock to trade. So to wrap this video up, is it too late to buy Shiba Inu? If you're holding this long and you're hoping for another hyped, a pumped up movement in the market, I do believe right now we could be seeing a good buying opportunity. Now, with that being said, it is so important to be doing proper research and understanding the coins fundamentals, looking into the tokenomics, understanding the circulating supply or the perspective of how much that coin is really worth. Do your due diligence before making a trade and do not invest based on hype. We have seen this happen time and time again in the market where people start hearing about it, people started putting their money, and at some point when one whale decides, hey, this is about the top of the market, let me pull out, and there's a decrease in price, then many people start to panic sell their investments then. And even as an example with Dogecoin, I do believe it's been more stagnant just because people are holding it long saying, hey, I'm just holding it because I don't want to miss out on anything in the future, and I'm going to just let it sit there. It's not going too down, too up. It's just it's just chill. So they're waiting for a new wave of people to come in. And fortunately enough, we're actually seeing that happening in Shiba where many people were able to capitalize on that. But, you know, I think as an influencer or a crypto guy, I got to know when I'm wrong. And with Shiba Inu, I did not ever think that this crypto would pop off. I did not think I would be making a dedicated video on a token like this. But I also got to acknowledge some of the L's that I've made and some of the missed opportunities as well. Now, even with that being said, I still personally prefer investing into those fundamentally sound cryptocurrencies. And if you guys want to learn more about what those are, take a look at some of my older videos videos that I made. Statistically, most of them are actually up significant amount on their investment. And I'm going to be doing a full research video on some of the top picks that I mentioned and how much they are up since I mentioned that video on YouTube. And some of them actually have about a million views. So that's, I think, why this channel still performs the way it does. It's because we have genuinely helped a lot of people make money within the past four or five months. And although you can still have a higher chance of making more money with Shiba, I prefer the safer route. I prefer with choosing coins that you know are going to stick around that still can survive even if we decide to see uh, Bitcoin plummet in the opposite direction. So hopefully you guys are able to find a lot of value in today's episode. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I know I haven't been as consistent on this channel as I'd like to be. That's just because I've been so busy trying to hire a new research assistant and we've been getting a ton of applications and I'm super excited to see what's going to happen next for this channel. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to check out the links down below in the description. You can check out Surfshark. It's a VPN. You'll find yourself getting 83% off in three months free using my link down below. And on top of that, don't forget to check out crypto.com. Link down below in the description. If you use my link, you will also be getting another $25 into your account. Crypto.com has over 10 million plus users where you can buy, trade, and sell cryptos at true cost. They also have this really cool thing. It's a crypto visa debit or credit card that you can have access to. And with that, you can even find yourself getting free access to Spotify, Amazon, and in addition to that, just getting free rewards by staking your CRO within their app. I really like them, and they also have a ton of great partnerships that have happened within this past year. One of them is the UFC. Yeah, like Dana White. That's pretty dope. They have the F1 Formula One racing team and Ashton Martin as well, too. Just a couple of their partners, and I love their app. And if you guys want to check them out, you can also get $25 using that link down below in the description. Thank you all so much again for watching today's episode. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram if you guys have not yet already. And with that being said, hope I see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Ah.